What's going on my exotic family? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to yet another video. And if you're just not joining my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, so today's video, we are going to talk about feeders. I'm actually going to show you guys how I clean my feeders. Um, and we're going to go ahead and feed them. So without further ado, let's jump right to it. Alright everybody, so welcome back to the video. Like I said, we're going to be cleaning and feeding the feeders today. So these are going to be the guys that I feed. Um, you know, mostly the lizards. Um, well, yeah, the lizards. Um, the caiman, the tegu, the leopard gecko, the buried dragon. Um, things like that. So I'm just going to walk you through how I clean these guys. Um, and we're going to go ahead and feed them as well. Now with super worms. They're never really hard to clean, um, but usually, I'm not going to say all the time, and this is at least for me, um, usually um, everything that I need to pull is usually up on top. Um, and you can see what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of sifting through, making sure everybody's looking lively, and make sure everybody's looking good. Um, we got some, we got a couple um, freshly uh, molted ones. Um, but yeah, so this part is easy. Um, it looks looks pretty good in here um, so what we're gonna do since there's nothing to pull here's, um, we're gonna throw some apples in there with these guys and let them chow down hopefully I can get some um, get some uh, like up close shots of them eating um, so let me go ahead and grab those apples it was foreign since I have so many I like to spread them out so I'll put one there put one back here put one up here and then I'll put one down here why not just mix it up a little bit um, and you guys can't see that so there we go there's all four of them um, so we usually just kind of put them all well I <laughs> I usually just put them all in there kind of spread them out um, that way everybody can get something this is something I do um, a couple times a week uh, maybe three to four times a week I don't feed them every single day um, but like I said I do feed them every couple times a week um, mostly I feed them greens for the most part but since I am um, actually don't have any at the moment um, cause I gave the rest of the tortoise um, so this is what will uh, what will suffice um, it's gonna be apples and they'll have this probably they'll probably have these apples taken care of by the time the Sun comes up so they move very very quickly so um, let's go ahead and move on to the Dubia Roach Colony. Alrighty, so here is my Roach Colony. As you can see, it's nothing fancy. I just started it not so long ago. If you guys seen my recent videos, um, but it's still important to keep these guys clean. Um, because like I said, what you put in your feeders, you're putting into your reptiles that are eating these guys. So it's important that you take care of these guys as well. So you can see it's kind of, you know, got some, got some things in there that just don't look too good. Um, so I'm going to go through, just kind of sift out and clean out what I need. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get these guys uh, fed and watered as well. So let's get to it. Alrighty, so now that we got them clean, I'm going to go ahead and feed and water them. Um, so for hydration, this is what I use um, for them. Let's see if I can get it to focus. There we go. This is what I use for them. Um, and then they're going to get apples as well. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get that cracking. And you guys can see um, what it'll look like again. So let me... Alrighty, so this is what it looks like. Um, I really like this blue stuff. I don't know. It 
call me crazy, but it kind of does look refreshing. Um, if I were a bug, I would definitely want this served to me. Um, but um, so this is the thirst quencher to keep them hydrated, and then the apple obviously to keep giving food. Um, so we're just gonna slip that right in there, and then I usually just kind of stack these back up. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That is. It's a very quick video. Um, like I said, I just started my superworm and Doobie Rose Colony, so it doesn't take me as long as probably most other people. Um, but like I said, I have had both before, um, and this is how I always did it. Um, usually took a lot longer, uh, but this is how I did it. So let me go ahead and get these guys put up and put back. Alright everybody, once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you for watching as usual. Um, a very simple, short video, um, but I feel like I like to show things like this is because this when keeping so many reptiles, um, it's things like this that we do daily as reptile keepers and someone out there may not know exactly how to do it. Um, so I try to show everything um, that I do here in my reptile room, so those of you that want to know what you want to know can, you know, watch a video and hopefully maybe it inspires you or you get the information you need so there it is hope you guys enjoyed it as always uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button drop a comment let me know what's going on hit that notification bell stay healthy stay clean stay excited